All right, so I'm jumping on this real early this morning. Today, we've got the Jack in the Box. All right, there it says Jack on the Box. And the tagline is, once you open the box, you can't escape it. On the back, we see the audacious claim, Hellraiser meets Pennywise. That was from the Geek Legion of Doom. So let's see what the synopsis is. When a vintage Jack in the Box is unearthed and donated to a museum in the heart of the woods, it's not long before staff member Casey Reynolds has reason to believe the creepy clown doll inside has a life of its own. As Casey discovers his colleagues are dying one by one, will he find a way to end the nightmare, or will he too fall victim to the box's curse? As we can see, we have Sunny uh, making a, a fine guest appearance. How's it going, baby girl? Oh, she doesn't care. So already we've got four digital media. Once again, we've had a run-in with them with uh, 47 hours to live. And I um, realized I totally forgot to do the um, opening little crawl for uh, Scare b and but as of this moment, hardly anybody's watched that, so it doesn't really matter. We've already got a metal detectorist Finding something hard under the dirt. Jack. You know what? I'm going to be honest. That's, I mean, I guess that's kind of creative for a prop. It's not terrible looking. Oh, he's super, super happy. He and his wife, they, they always wanted a, ch a Jack in the Box child. They just always talked about adopting. A creepy ass clown in a box. Oh, oh no. Oh no, he 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 vanished. Oh no. Oh she's she's gonna get her face ripped off. Or I guess not, he he turned gigantic. That's his that's his KK Ginkai. <laughs> Esther. I would like the um, restaurant chain to comment on this movie. They they need to say that their mascot is not a murderous entity in a box. So I guess this is Casey Reynolds. Hello? He sounds like a Casey Reynolds. Gift or anything. No, I don't think I'll be alright. I can't tell if he has an accent or not. Uh, okay, so, um... This is the war exhibit, obviously. Um, I mean, I don't know how he would have known. Uh, craft is, yeah, from tomorrow you'll mostly be working alone. I'm usually only here a couple of days. Oh, so we're going to have a Five Nights at Freddy situation. This, uh, well, the job's simple enough. Just greet the visitors. Greet the mannequins. Tomorrow, answer any questions they might have. Fulfill any of the lucky, mannequins' needs and desires. I was a curator. Back okay, yeah. He's American. Loved it. Sure. But it still sounds like he's trying to put on an accent. Most Maybe he's Irish American or something. Change of scenery. This is going to haunt me the rest of the movie more than oh, any cheap scares ever I'm will. And furthermore, how does that look like something that a museum would keep on hand? Did did it did die dick dick did it? A music box. Maybe it's a Jack in the Box. No, there's, there's no, no fucking way it's a Jack in the Box, lady. Oh, well, that was simple enough. Oh, boy. I mean, this is definitely interesting enough, I guess, box. but <laughs> that was some bad CG. The question is, gonna oh, why, why would you? Why would you do that after seeing how complex that mechanism was for a jack-in-the-box? Why would you do that after seeing how bad that CG lever was popping out of the side? This guy has no common sense. These characters have no common sense. Plus, it's got runes and shit on the side of it. Alright, this is obnoxious. Oh, oh, oh. It has to be out there on display. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna give David a ring. He's our expert. He's, He's our expert. Simple. David will be able to tell what fresh hell this thing crawled out of. Oh, we've got some you thieves. Man, if only they knew they're not gonna be taking any valuable artifacts. They're gonna be 
having their lives tooketh. And he's still out of the box! Like, why wouldn't they put him back in the box? He's probably thinking to himself, damn, that's the sexiest Jack in the Box I've ever seen. I'm gonna make love to it. Come see I mean, you should see this thing's face. God, you are it's got some proper DSLs, it does. Look at your nose. Why would you talk shit about it? Why? He's talking to it like it's an actual thing. You're yeah. Yeah, some more bad CG. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. He turned into a Jumbo Jack again. Nah, he's already dead, bro. He's already gone to the River Styx. Uh, yeah, because that's real smart. And your breathing's totally not going to give you away. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! And boom! That was, that was off. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, he's gonna scalp him! Or not. I guess, I don't know, they kinda cut off on the gore there. Oh, it's counting! It's counting how many deaths he's accumulated. Kills, how many kills he's acc he's accrued. I think what this place might remind you of home. What do you think? Yeah, I wonder, wonder why well, it should invoke that with, with that American flag menu. That case, then. Please. Oh, that's kind of boring. I think that tape is a good choice. Thank you. Waffles are where it's at, everybody. I don't I don't care who I offend out there by saying that, oh, but waffles on. are the only way to go. She says that to everybody. But where do you imagine yourself? Five years' time. Here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, why not? This is all I know. I'll be here. Yeah, this was a um, very worthwhile scene to linger yeah, on for a good journey, while. Huh? My mum's sick. Oh, now the truth comes out. <laughs> There's a guy behind me, he all in back. I think he's got a knife. Oh God, please, you, please, please pick up. Please pick up. <laughs> oh, it's pretty, it's pretty jacked up. Had a lover die while trying to reach him on the phone. And he keeps her picture everywhere he goes. Interesting that the nightmare was in black and white, though. I think there may have been a break-in last night. Seriously? Mm, well, well, the door's open, and there's... There's stuff. blood everywhere. There's some guy's scalp, I guess. There's hair just oh, matted well, all over the place. Nothing I can see. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. This way. Show me the box, young blood. It's an incredible piece. Is it, though? I'm glad that we've got this extensive Jack in the Box lore. Others suggest they served a far darker purpose for many years before that. What do you mean? Housing demons. Darker. And what not, Casey? They had a different name for them. Demon en boite. Demon en boite. I don't know if I did that Demon right. Demon in a box. Enticing even to open. Sexy. Across. I specialize in antiques. Not fantasy. Be funny if he said, I need to call my brother. And then he just no left the screen real quick. And he came back. Just dressed differently. Drinking when they came up like stuff. Roger from American Dad. <sighs> Maurice. Something or other, I forget. He's about the only well-known figure over here in the field of demonology. Yeah, so Maury should just totally be this guy in a completely Thank different outfit. Thank you. And I would immediately classify this movie as one of the greatest ones I've ever watched. Oh, no, it's fine. Just point me in the right direction. So do people just so come door, in uh, randomly and turn right. Thanks. without anybody interacting with them? What a very impersonal experience. Don't well, tell me she's gonna jack in the box. That sounded dirty. I'm starting to feel like the quote on the back of the DVD case had Hellraiser meets Pennywise. 
as a thing of what the filmmakers were going for because I'm not getting a vibe for either with this. Come on, do something. Oh, oh that, that was weak. This guy is like honestly the worst employee I've ever seen anywhere. And granted, they had a break in, but still, bro. In the back of the case made it sound like he was, you know, a more prominent figure in the museum staff. Two more, can I, can I? I mean, I don't know, man. You you tell me you're the pill addict. So I didn't I see her? Oh, I did. I did see her. And that that scream, and she's missing from the museum, and in life in general. No, it must be a coincidence. And why is it out of the box again? <laughs> Jack is tomorrow. Name Jack is tomorrow. Jack, type demonic clown. Height six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Is oh so no, there's a statue. Yeah, it it's like a. <laughs> it is believed. Like a, like a D and D monster manual entry. <laughs> Goals to feast on the remains of six human victims. Only when a jack claims his six victims will it once again be trapped within the box. It's kind of a shit tier demon. Once he gets his fill, he's trapped in the box again. He doesn't get freedom or anything. Or Casey. Oh, it must be Rachel. I'm Rachel, the manager. We spoke on phone. Rachel, Rachel the manager. Likewise. Much like Tyler, the creator, oh, that's just her name. Well. I'm sure someone must have broken in. There's nothing missing, Casey. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I just popped by to collect some papers. I mean, did Sorry Jack put meeting. everything back into place, though? Why because not? they totally rummaged it's through a lot of stuff. It's a great find. Is it, though? And I'm just going to keep coming back to that. Is it really a great find? I'm sorry, but this is the most poorly run museum I think I've ever come across in, like, anything. Yeah, yeah, people disappearing without anybody really, you know, taking the time to investigate. You got people that broke in that clearly stuffed some things in a bag. And there's no reason to believe that the items were put back on the shelves or the displays. Two. Oh, is the window cleaner gonna get got? Oh, yep, has to. Has to happen. Fuck you, clown. Anywhere near you. Oh, see, she just had to stop to talk shit. Oh, she's spraying him in the face now. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, yep, he's gone. I knew there was going to be some kind of weird cutaway gag like that. That was the most gentlest slam I've ever heard of a door in a horror movie. And I guess that's terrifying in its own right. Hmm. Oh, we don't even get to see anything. Come on. Come on, man. I could have helped her. I could have at least given her some consoling words before the knife got plunged into her gut. So I'm glad that we're taking, taking the time to follow up on a missing person's sure uh, type deal. Because that at least shows a bit of realism and all that, but I'm not really looking for realism in my so let's start. Hellraiser let's meets start Pennywise show. situations. But really, it should say Hellraiser meets it, but I don't think that's as uh, catchy yeah, as, far as, I'm as a headline or whatever. Sure. And he sounds like such an yeah, expert about running the museum when we don't have any idea how much time has passed. Yeah, there's this uh, sexy Jack in the Box we have. I I'm sorry, I can't be more of a help. But if I were the detective, I would just think that he was suspicious at that point. 
Maybe you better take some time off, you know? I'd arrest him to fill my quota. Clear your head. It's always a logical explanation. There's nothing to do with it's spirits. There's no illogical reason. Okay, so this is about the time in watching the movie where I start to get curious as to how much of the plot is left in the movie comparative to the time elapsed. So let's find out right now. Okay, so we are halfway through. And at this point, the movie has a decent amount of you know, time to wrap things up pretty neatly, all things considered. So maybe it's not all lost because, you know, a horror movie is supposed to do that. It's supposed to have, you know, more scares than anything, and we, we've got a, a little bit of runtime left, a decent amount of it, so we, we gotta fill that, fill that scare efficiency quota. A flashlight into scare. Flashlight. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Just pretend that you're still asleep like when your girlfriend called you and she died. It will get bored and leave you alone. I've seen it a number of times. I mean, what, what, the, what the hell, man? Kill him. There's no reason. There's no reason to, you know... Leave him alive unless, unless the spirit is beholden to the person that cranked the lever. He's loyal to the person that jacked him off. Contain a demon. And by opening the box, I let it out. You have a demon named Jack Estamara. It's You're supposed to believe me. You're my replacement love interest. You're supposed to believe me. Sure. Oh, well, that's some good graffiti. That's very creative and clever. Murderer, murderer. Two times the murderer. Mr. Cleaver. Mr. Cleaver, I saw you. I didn't kill her, all right? I didn't I kill her. Didn't. Go away. A fucking jack in the box got me, wife. Well, uh... Our sex life had been dead for a good while, and we ended up thinking that a jack-in-the-box could really spice things up in bed, so when we found one that was more than human-sized, well, man, we thought we hit the jackpot. Pun intended. She was having sex with the jack-in-the-box. You know what, I almost thought there was going to be extra backstory there, but it was pretty uh, straightforward. It was cut and dry. It was the exact story. opening scene that he described. They didn't believe me. I spent the last 15 years wondering if there was something I could have done. I mean, really, the only answer at this I point is just to let it kill. Time. The police will trace the disappearances back to you and your little friends at the museum. <laughs> you and your little friends at the museum. Uh, that's pretty generous, calling them friends. If the claim doesn't kill you people of Hawthorne may end up believing that you are the monster. Maybe I am. Maybe I have to become a monster to fight the monster. <laughs> I'm glad that that cough was there for effect. I wouldn't have believed his acting chops otherwise. Wouldn't be one of these movies without the main character listening to their dead loved one's words in their head. Having a hypothetical conversation. Find a way to stop it. Just let, just let it kill. Just let it kill. He'll have his fill. You can hide the box again and hope that nobody else cranks it open. And he's going to run into the jack in the box. He's going to get another scratch on his forehead. <sighs> oh, the old tried and true petrol and lighting it on fire technique that we see in a great many of supernatural horror movie situations and it's made out of fucking metal how is it <laughs> how is it gonna burn man that just looks stupid at this point i feel like if this were a more you know well-crafted movie doug jones would be the dude playing the clown 
And then the other three disappearances in town, I admit. No idea what you're dealing with here. They are a bit coincidental, but otherwise, I don't think it has anything to do with the box or our museum. Alright, everybody, so it looks like we got about 20 minutes left here. I'm glad that we're finally introduced to Maurice with 20 minutes to spare. Yes, Maurice Ainsworth. Who's asking? I'm Casey. Casey Reynolds. I've been trying to reach you. Ah. Did I not return your call? No. Well, there's a reason. Oh, I didn't. Oh, no, fuck off. Oh, but you. Th I can tell that you're serious. Please. I've got about 19 minutes to spare in this film's runtime. I mean, at this point, it's basically too late for him to come back in time to save them, or at least Rachel. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> How did we get... <laughs> What the hell? How do we get to that point? That that kill made no it's, sense. Once a Jack's heart is weakened by the end of a blade, only the spoken word will send it back to the shadows where it was made. What do I have to say? Bestia ad inferos. Thank you. Oh, that <laughs> Oh, in case be careful. You have to get it right. It only takes something as small as a piece of its clothing, a severed claw. Anything left outside of the box while performing the ritual, and it won't work. If you leave anything behind, Jack will come back for his chosen. That place. means something's gonna happen and, it, and it, something's gonna get left behind. I'm glad that the movie's spelling that out for us. People just don't give a shit at this museum. They don't care if somebody's gone missing without any explanation. Oh wow, I'm glad. I'm so glad that that scene was just there for her to find evidence of Rachel's death. Hellraiser meets Pennywise. Oh, oh I've seen this before in many a Japanese media. Oh, well, she's dead, too. It, there's really... So it's too late. It's too late to stop the murder, man. Like... Now he's just gonna disappear. <laughs> and I guess it's a point that, you know, his efforts would have been futile, but... I don't see how Lisa's gonna survive from that. She got ran through like Goku in the newest chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Oh, well, he's collecting more cuts. It's like stamps, but more painful. You know, it's just kind of dawned on me. The clown honestly looks like if Blake from Children's Hospital ended up turning into a demon. Are we sure this isn't Rob Cordery? All right, seriously, man, you got to jump into action now. Of course he has to make the final crawl, it just can't be that he walks over, you know, with any sense of urgency. And the clown is conveniently not paying attention. He's savoring the kill for some goddamn reason. I've seen many um, anime and manga series where somebody coughs up blood and it doesn't necessarily entail a fatal injury. So let's see what kind of fucking loophole we get as to why the Jack of the Box is not completely gone. Uh, she needs, um, oh, he's gonna get arrested. So really it seems like she's gonna die so she can't tell anybody about the clown and he's gonna get arrested so he can't stop the clown from being discovered by anybody else. That's where I think that this is headed. And I might be correct. No, no, she's still alive. Be the one that finishes what he started. Be the one that ends Jack's curse forever. 
How? He had to open the box to let him kill again. It's only one way. The box cannot be destroyed. Each life Jack takes keeps him alive for another three years. <laughs> another three to years. Kill him, you have to stop the box from being opened again. Oh my god. As Jack has already killed five times, the box must remain unopened for fifteen years. <laughs> You can't, you, you can't ensure that, though. It would be funny if there were, like, a time loop. Again. Did you kill your boss, Rachel? Or at least a no. bookend of what happened at the start of the movie of the same guy that found it initially it as, like, a new wife or something. If you leave anything behind, yep, see? Jack will come back for his chosen victims. It wouldn't have mattered, Please. like, regardless. It's gonna come back for her. Did you kill Rachel? You have to listen to me. Answer the question! You have to believe me. It, it, it didn't work. We have to help her. We have to help her. I mean, either way, let's be honest. This was never we going to end. Her. It's such a convoluted system of containing the Jack in the Box's power, nothing would have worked. Anyway, everybody, that was, um, Hellraiser meets Pennywise. Alternatively titled The Jack in the Box, and uh, wow, what a treat. I think it was honestly better than I was expecting. It was uh, certainly better than 47 Hours to Live. I feel like I might have to pay attention to this uh, company's release schedule and find many other movies to explore in the saga of, uh, was it, 4E Media. So thank you for joining me, and um, I'll uh, I'll be back with another movie commentary or whatnot. I'm planning on making this as consistent as I can. And uh, even though I don't have much of an audience right now, I'll hope that uh, you guys that have been around or anybody that you know follows up on any of these videos at any point in the future that you uh, join me on many uh, terrible films. So. Uh, like and comment if you'd like. Uh, give me an idea of how well I'm doing, if I'm doing terribly or whatever. Just, uh, you know, let me know what I could improve on or if I'm, uh, you know, on the right track or whatever. So uh, thank you all for uh, joining me. Have a great one. I'll be around.